Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and if you are on Windows 11 there has been a release late yesterday and it's rolling out today of a cumulative update that is optional and this is the bug fixing update so this is the second bug fixing update that is available for Windows 11 and of course uh, we were expecting to have this uh, this week uh, or next week so um, if you add on to your Windows uh, updates, you will see that there is an optional update that shows up in Windows Update. You'll have to download and install it because optional updates, uh, bug fixing updates are you know, optional. So you have to uh, have it installed. Click to have it installed because it doesn't install automatically. And uh, so you will have a uh, update, which you see here. It's the cumulative update for Windows 11. KB5007262 and this is going to push your Windows version if you look at Winver uh, to 22,000.348 that is the latest update once again no security updates in here this is only bug fixes it fixes around 70 different flaws that were um, of course discovered or talked about in Windows 11 uh, so all sorts of different um, flaws, uh, many of them that has to do with the File Explorer having some problems. So um, I talked in one of my videos where I thought and I found that sometimes the File Explorer seems to be sluggish. We're going to see if this fixes that problem as this is one of the things. Well, there's a lot of things of the uh, File Explorer that are actually fixed in here. Uh, there's one that is uh, audio device problems that are fixed. Uh, there's also the uh, some of, some bugs with Snap Assist that has some problems with the task view sometimes. So depending on what you're doing, uh, you might have had some problems there. Uh, what else do we have that would be uh, some flickering issues uh, when you hover over icons in the taskbar? Uh, depending on the if you have applied eye contrast themes, uh, they updated the emojis and all sorts of things like that uh, for uh, the uh, system. There's also is audio, audio distortion issue that affects uh, the um, audio peripherals that are Xbox Xbox One series. Uh, what else? Anything of uh, interest? Um, focused assist um, for the first hour. Uh, might not work well in some cases. Uh, they are addressing some issues with the search indexer that uh, could uh, take too much of the uh, CPU cycles, um, things like that. So and a lot more stuff. There's really tons of fixes in here. Um, looking at printers, printer sharing, printer problems of all kinds that are fixed in here. They are uh, fixed um, one of the issues when you absolutely need the real Internet Explorer because it still can be um, installed and works on Windows 11. Lots of problems were uh, have, people were talking about lots of problems with uh, Internet Explorer 11 uh, on Windows 11. Uh, issues with certain USB print installers uh, so um, they don't detect the printer when you plug it in stuff like that so lots and lots of things that are uh, really managed in here uh, Windows Defender fixes also apparently some issues with that so uh, if you have problems maybe this could be a good idea to uh, have this update um, I often say you know no problems you don't have to uh, to install it, you know, when there's no problems or like I see, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So it depends on you. It's optional. So you have to do it yourself or else it won't install or it will install, but it will install only when we get to the patch Tuesday updates of December. So check it out. If you have issues, if something's wrong, if you have noticed some weird things, you might install this update, uh, brings your build to 22,000.348 and it's, uh, the second bug fixing update that is available for Windows 11. And if uh, it continues like it was last month, even unsupported hardware should get this update also. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.